I'm Zero FXB. Welcome to my channel. So, if you've bought one of these Wurui DMR radios, this is a non GPS. If you scroll down, you'll notice that they've added a link now for the programming software and USB driver. If you scroll down past all the photographs, you'll see at the bottom they've added a link. Here it is here. TXQ radio download okay now when you click that you'll get to this page here okay once you're on this page here like so click download here underneath TXQ click download and you'll get this zip file here now once you've got that double click this one here and then the first one you're really interested in really is the programming software. The one above is the USB driver. But let's do the programming software first. Double click that. Then you get the YM219 here. Double click. I know it's in Chinese, but double click. Then look for the DMRXC here. Double click. And the file will open. And if it's if it opens in Chinese click one of these and it says English so not this one not this one this one here says English click English and then you're in English I'm now going to show you how to start changing and adding your details so let's start from the beginning it's a 2 meter and 70 radio and the model name is actually a YM219 but it must be the same that's all fine basic information general settings so you want to put your call sign in here where it says YM219 so M0FXB and your DMR number double click here my number is 2341437 okay that's fine for now now you want to create a contact so double click contact here and then go digital contacts because contacts are your DMR groups that you're going to join. So let's just do one here. We'll click the one here. And let's just create worldwide. So we'll call it worldwide. And we'll give the number of worldwide is 91. So double click call ID and click 91. That's worldwide. Okay, that's that one done. Now, if you want to create a group call, you change here. So this is a group call now. If you want private call, add select private call and then click add. And so we can now double click number four. Like so, a new window opens and it's a private call now. We're going to call this one disconnect. And it will be 4000 for disconnect. And that's that one done as well. And if we do one more, we'll, call, we'll create local. So we'll go back to group call add we'll double click number five it's a group call we'll call this one local nine and we'll, this will be talk group number nine I know it's called contacts but it's actually a talk group we use that one a lot okay so there's a few there we've created some contacts because you need that to create channels now let's create a channel double click channel let's go to Number one, we'll rename it or we'll right click, rename it, and we'll call it Hotspot. Okay, so it's now called Hotspot. We need to put in the frequency. So double click where it says number one, it's a digital hotspot. We've named it already. Now we're going to do it's a simplex, so it's 431.550 is simplex. TX is the same because it's simplex. It's in our house, so we'll keep the power low. We do need to select a, um, the color code. That's, there is information down here at the bottom to help you. We'll just click away from that. We can see the whole window now, and we're going to select local for talk group nine. Repeater slot two, we like. You've got two repeater slots. We're going to choose two, and color code one. We won't. We'll leave the group list as one. So that's our hotspot channel created. 
Now let's create an analog channel. So we'll click number two, right click, and we'll rename it. We'll call it GB3WR. That's a repeater. Okay. So double click that. And then there you go. So we're on that channel, GB3WR. Analog. The repeater is 145.600. That's the output. And the input is 145.000. That's the, the when you transmit. So then we're going to keep the power high. We want a tone of 94.8. And that's a transmit tone. We don't need that. This is a receive tone here, if you do a receive tone. So that's it. That's our repeater. Now let's create a zone to put our channels in. Obviously you can create many, many channels. So right now we'll get, we'll double click zone and we'll rename, we'll right click and we'll rename one, one zone hotspots. Okay. We'll leave that as that for now. And we'll rename the one underneath analog. Okay, so now let's double click one of the hotspots, the zone called hotspots, and we can add some channels. So we want to add, we've got many available channels here, but the ones we created are here. So we want to delete some of these because we don't need all these channels. So let's delete them all and then let's add in to our hotspot zone. We'll call it because it's what we'll add the hotspot one. And then we can click the one we don't want and delete. Oh, we need to keep the so 001 we have to keep. So that's it, 02, that's fine. We'll keep that. Let's close that. Now, so we've got one our hotspot channel in our hotspot zone. Now analog. Double click analog here. Delete all these channels for now. It looks like you have 16 channels there. I'll delete them all and then we'll add in GB3WR, add, and that's in our analog. We can add many more channels. Let's just double click, see if we can get rid of this one. If we delete them both, no, it won't let us, so add. So we have to keep 001. So we've now created two zones with a channel in. We can create more channels if we want. We can create contacts, because we need contacts. Because without contacts, we can't have talk group channels. If we click buttons here, we can reprogram the buttons. So SK1, 2, and then we've got these emergency buttons as well. So we can decide what the buttons do here. We've got scan, vox, zone, loan worker, phone. Again here, these different options that we can use, high, low power. Long press, long press functions as well. You have one touch access as well. It's another thing we could program for using for accessing talk groups. So you get the idea. Zone select, that's a common one. So that's reprogramming our buttons. We can we've got text messages here. There's this radio does not have GPS. Not sure what that is. You can assign a key, look, so you can assign a key to a talk group if you want, look. You can do that if you want, but that's for another video, really. Menu, main menu here, these are the functions that you can turn on. We will turn on GPS, but I don't actually know if it's got GPS, but we will turn it on. And if it has, that would be very nice, because we'd like to uh, play with that. Okay. Let's close down. We've got VFO here. We can set and change our VFOs. VFO A, VFO B, that's for when you're in VFO mode. You can decide what you're going to look at. You can create a scan list. So I've never done that before, so we're not doing that now. And we can save. So we go file, save, and we can save that file. In here, we'll call it uh, D99 save number two. 
that's it. Oops, that's out. Save. So we've got two save files. Click OK. So if we write to the radio, we would click read or write. So if you write, you write to the radio. If you click read, you read. Remember the language is here. You have toolbars, status bar. You have windows, about. So hopefully this is going to help you get you going with your with your radio, you've got boot, attachments, menu, number key assigned, general settings, buttons, text message, privacy signaling system, so it does have DTMF, receive group, zones, channels, ETC. So that's it, thank you. Let's just go back to a channel. I'll create one more channel. We'll call this, we'll do this one as an analog, so I have an all star node. We'll call it 431.550, that's my analog all-star node. Push that across, keep the power low. We want a 77 turn tone for my node. And we'll name it Hubnet. That's an analog channel, 77. And that's everything there. So now we're going to put that into a, put that into our analog number. So double click analog. We've got Hubnet there, and we'll send it in, and then we can that, that's that two channels and that, and we'll say file, save, and that will save. We'll save it to the same place. Save, yes. Click yes, and that's it. And then we again, we've saved that. We can write to our radio by clicking write when we've got the correct cable and the correct drivers. So that's it. So if you've bought the the D99 DMR radio, this one here, hopefully that'll get you started. Now remember at the bottom there was also a link for the USB driver. So when you download here, when you download there, and you click the zip, double click, and then at the above it you've got the USB driver. Double click and then install your drivers here. That's it. Thanks for watching. 7-3. Catch you on air. M0FXB clear. Bye for now.